Salutations! I hope you had a chance to look at some of my other videos. If you haven't, that's fine. I'm glad you're here right now. That's what counts. Being here in the moment and being present. So let's get into this video. This video is about cleaning your mind. A mind detox. So let's jump right into it. Do you have things all over the place in your home? Is there clutter? If you do, then you need to start cleaning it up. This is the first thing you need to do because this causes you to feel cluttered in your mind. A clean home is peace of mind. Having your environment clean and orderly makes you feel more free and energized instead of feeling confined and stressed. The second thing, you need to look at current job or living situation. The fact being that one third of your life is spent at work, it would be great if it provided more than just a paycheck, like mental stimulation, and it would make you excited to be there. Not everyone gets to have this option. Many people stay where they are because of comfort or they think they are unable to find a better job or career. However, if you are stressed and unhappy at your job, it's time to take a close look at that situation. Of course, if you don't have savings, it would not be safe to quit. It would not be a smart thing to do, right? Think of what would make you happy and put a plan together and make it happen. The same goes for not being in a comfortable relationship or living situation. If you are not happy, then you must make a change. This change is for your mental and physical health. Plus, it clears up space in your mind. If you have someone in your life in a relationship that doesn't serve you, it's time to let them go. Don't hold on to things that don't serve you. The next thing I want to get into is to, for you to get in touch with your emotions. This is something that requires real work. It can be hard for men to do, as men have been conditioned not to acknowledge our feelings and to be tough. That is wrong because men have feelings just like women. We are humans. It doesn't make you less of a man to talk and express your feelings. Suppressing or ignoring them can only lead to feeling stress and most times into making bad decisions. Learning to express your feelings is part of being free. Yes, freedom from stress and oppression of feelings. I want you to do this simple exercise. It will require practice as it is not easy at first. When you feel any feeling whatsoever, stop and ask yourself why are you feeling this way? Then think about the reason why this feeling came up and how it's making you feel. And next, the action you take based on this feeling will be the right one because you acknowledge the feeling you thought about it and then you can take the proper course of action most people go right into what we call impulse reactions right they feel a feeling and right away they act on the feeling that is not the proper formula because that usually leads to making poor decisions the proper way is to feel, think, and then act. When you are free to feel, you are free to think better. The next thing I'm going to get into, it's really good. Stop comparing yourself to others. This is another thing we have been conditioned, such as trying to look like celebrities or someone popular on social media. This is a lot of work that doesn't pay. It is a bad investment, which usually leaves you feeling bad. You cannot be anyone but yourself. Trying to act, dress, talk, or look like someone else is a waste of time because at the end of the day, you are you. 
they can't be you and you can't be them. So all this energy is wasted. You need to focus on living a good life. Yes, it's very attractive to look and imagine what their lives is like, what celebrities' lives are like. But things always look better on TV, on movies, and in social media. Instead of, instead of comparing, start using that energy to create a healthy, loving relationship with yourself. To build a better life for you to enjoy. You are a celebrity in your own way. Yes, you are all great. You're fantastic. So act like it. Don't copy. Don't be a copycat. Just be an authentic, original self. You are the best there is. There's no one like you. You are the original. So live with that. Now moving on to the next one, which is a lot of fun for me. Cutting out the toxic people in your life. Doing this will free up so much space in your mind. Happy feelings will flow freely. Knowing you got someone out of your life that was not healthy nor serving a good purpose. If there is someone who is draining your energy, hello energy vampires, using you or doesn't respect you, they need to go. There is no reason to keep them around in your life, no matter what they are or who they are. Toxic relationships clutter your mind and drain your energy. Don't be afraid to let people go. Some relationships don't last. Some people come into our lives only for a season. Everyone we meet is there to teach us something that will help us to grow into a better person. Toxic people teach us not to be that kind of a person. Next, go out or take a getaway. Sort of like taking a vacation if you want. That's an option. It's all about getting out. In the same way that cleaning out the gutter gives the mind clarity, so does taking a walk in the park. Or better yet, in nature. Nature will affect your lungs and boost your energy and get you grounded. Fresh clean air will help the mind to relax. If you can get away on a vacation to a place where you can be on a beach or some restful place that you enjoy, go for it. This would be great to get away from the running and hustle of the daily life, especially if you live in a city. Even taking a walk by the water, river, ocean, lake, or whatever body of water is near you. This can be relaxing and calming to the mind. Most people report feeling relaxed when they are near a body of water. According to what I understand, 70% of the body is water. And I've heard that when we get near a body of water, there is a reaction between the two that causes us to feel tranquility. So go out there, give it a try, be an experiment, go for it. I go, I experiment, I try it out, and I tell you what, when I'm near the water, I do feel relaxed, calm, and peaceful. Now to the final one. Make some quiet time. Take a time out. Yeah, like you know how they tell kids, it's time for you to take a time out for whatever misbehavior or something they did. With all the distractions of today, technology and all forms of entertainment, there is a need to sit and be in the present moment. I strongly, strongly recommend meditation to everyone. Taking some time to not be on the phone, social media or the internet can be quiet time for the mind. Sitting by the water on a beach or better on a grass looking at the ripples of the tides can be so relaxing. Just the simple observation of water and its movement will calm the mind. Take a time out by disconnecting from all things tech. 
and just sit. Even just to have dinner and focus on what you're eating will surprise you that the mind will be quiet. My strong recommendation is to take up meditation. If you have not started already, give yourself the gift of being present. Being here and in the now is a way to get rid of worries, stress, negative thinking and unnecessary stuff you have no control over. If you want something powerful to clean the mind, practice breathing exercises. There are many different exercises for breathing. Simply Google it and you will see. In yoga, the breath is the most important part of the practice. Breathing is connected to every movement. Simple inhale and exhale through the nostril will help you to clear your mind. Try just sitting and doing 10 deep inhales and 10 deep exhales and you will feel the calmness. You will feel your shoulders relaxing. You will feel your mind will begin to focus on the breath and nothing else. If this video gave you something to think about, feel free to leave a comment and look on the screen. You will see another video of mine Go there and I will see you there.